Hello everyone, Luis here from Missive. Uh, in this video we're going to talk about Team Inboxes. The Team Inbox is offered as a powerful workflow setting for your shared accounts and addresses. With this setting, new messages appear in the Team Inbox instead of the regular inbox. The Team Inbox is shared among its team members, meaning that whenever a message is assigned, archived, or closed, it will be removed from the Team Inbox for everyone. This is useful for teams who want a triage step that will clean up messages for all coworkers at once. Let's create a team inbox. To do so, uh, click on your name, then settings, then organizations, then select an organization. In this case, we only have one, so we click on it. We click on teams and then create a team. And let's name it uh, tech support. Okay, so here we have uh, members and we also have observers. So members receive notifications for new messages. They see conversations listed in the unassigned mailbox in addition to the team inbox. Observers, on the other hand, do not receive notifications and see conversations listed in the team inbox only. This is perfect for managers who want to monitor the work being done but don't want to be flooded with notifications. Uh, here you can also define the color of the team. You can also choose two assignment options for when a user replies to a message in a team inbox. They can either assign the conversation to the user or leave the conversation in the team inbox. Also, when a user receives a reply in an already assigned conversation, messages can be moved to the assignees assigned to me and inbox or back to the team inbox. In Missive, there are many ways to achieve this. We're going to explore uh, three options. So the first one is to change the sharing settings of an account or address. To do so, navigate to the account settings and then uh, select an account and then click here where you can change the sharing settings. And here I can change having the emails arrive at the customer support team inbox I can change it to the tech support team inbox that we just created and then we save that. The second option is to assign a specific conversation to a team inbox. Only these and new messages in this conversation will appear in the team inbox. So for example, let's suppose we received uh, this email here. So if I wanted to assign this to the tech support team, I would click here and then select uh, tech support and then save. So now this email and future ones will arrive at the tech support team inbox. And the last option that we're going to see here today is to create a rule. Uh, this is to, to assign messages automatically to a team inbox after a certain condition is met. So let's create the rule. So you would click on your name and then settings, rules, uh, we're going to create a, an organization-wide rule here, so we would click on the organization and then create rule for incoming emails. So let's suppose we want to create a rule for all emails that contain the word bug. We're going to assign them to the tech support team inbox. Okay, so when incoming email matches all of these conditions, message content contains the word bug then the action is going to be to move to the team inbox and then we're going to choose the tech support team inbox and we save this. So those are the three ways out of many others that you can assign uh, messages or conversations to a certain team inbox. See you on the next video.